Have you ever thought to yourself that you want to create a vision board and you haven't quite figured out where to get all the images from or like you, you don't want to go and buy a bunch of magazines or maybe go to the library and get old magazine, whatever. I'm going to show you how to do an easy digital vision board and you don't even have to leave your house or cut up pictures or, and paste anything. Hi, I'm Jamie Reynolds and last night I had posted a video um, about manifestation and it got a lot of views and a lot of likes and a lot of comments. I think I got over like 32,000 views or something, a bunch, a bunch of comments. And a few of the people in the comments were saying, you should do a vision board because I'm trying to manifest something, right? And I was thinking like, I, yeah, I love the idea of a vision board. I mean, I would love to just put it right here on the wall and just be looking at it all the time because when you visualize something and you always have that goal and you're always looking at it, it gives you a direction and a reminder of your why and, and what you want to achieve. And being the type of person that I am, I usually like to just start on stuff, just jump right in, but I didn't have any kind of board or poster board or like a cork board or anything to post things to. I didn't have any images. I have no magazines. I don't subscribe to magazines anymore. I just like, I don't, <laughs> I was like stumped as to what I could do. So that's when I thought I'm going to check out Canva and I'm just going to make my vision board there. So I'm going to go on the computer now and show you how to do that in Canva. Okay, so here is Canva. I have downloaded the Canva desktop app, but if you don't want to download anything, you can just go to canva.com in any web browser like Chrome or Edge. Or, or Once you get to the page, just go to the top here and just type in vision board, which I've already typed it in. And you can scroll down and there's all these different templates and you can just pick the one that you like the best. I ended up picking this one right here. So let me click on that. And then if you like this one, but it's not 100% of what you want it to look like, you can scroll down and see more like this. You know, maybe one of these other ones, like you may want this one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if I would want that, but you know, just pick something. I'm gonna pick the same one that I did and click customize this template. And you can keep the pictures here to kind of remind you of what shape that you're looking for. Um, it looks like most of them are kind of like in the portrait shape. And then you can just double click on any of these words and trade them out. So if you say, do more of what you love, you may want to put retire at 50, you know, whatever. You just kind of put <laughs> your own spin on these things, you know, like maybe you want travel. Now that I'm realizing this is not the exact template that I, I did, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, and then what you're going to do is over on the left side, you're going to scroll down to where it says photos and click on photos and then just type in something related to a photo that you want to put on your vision board. So you can see I put in here housekeeper, marriage anniversary, Hawaii. So let's just look for housekeeper and it's going to come up with a bunch of images of housekeepers because that was one of the things that I wanted on my vision board is I do not want to have to clean my own house. So having a housekeeper would mean success to me. So I just looked in here for one that I liked. I, I didn't want to get anybody with their face or anything. So I think I picked, you know, something more along this lines. I can't remember exactly which one I picked, but um, just, I clicked on the photo. Now this is pro. I have the pro version, but if you have the free version of Canva, then just pick something that doesn't have the crown. So you know, like say this one or, you know, just anything without the crown. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where the heck I'm going to post it. And I'm just going to delete that photo. So like this one, I'm just going to click on it. You can right click and click, uh, click delete. You can also click the delete button on your keyboard. And I'm just going to put the image there and, um, you know, maybe kind of just grab, use the grab handles and kind of reposition it and try to just make it fit. So let's just put something else in here. So like, say you want to go to Greece. Did I spell that right? You know, maybe that is on your bucket list or on your list that you want to put on your vision board and just pick something that reminds you of Greece and do the same thing. Just take the image and um, kind of position it to the right place and then go up here where it says when you have the image selected, go to position and then click backward and then just put it backward as much as you want it. So I'm clicking it more than once. And so now I'm getting this, this title in front. So this, you know, maybe how I want this guy. And then maybe if I don't want the color to be this beigey color and you do have to be careful what you click on. So you kind of like, as I'm hovering, this is the text and then this is the, um, the background here. So, you know, you may get frustrated and, and what you could do is you can zoom in, you know, um, 
down here at the bottom there is a zoom level thing that will help you with the accuracy so i'm going to be clicked on that thing and i'm going to click on the up here in the um, menu bar here i'm going to click on color and then i'm going to pick a color that i want so i may want to pick this light blue and if i have more than one thing that i want to change so if i want to replace that beigey color with this blue on the whole darn thing I'm going to go down here in the bottom left and click change all and it's going to change all of them so let me actually zoom out a little bit so we can see that happen it's probably going to change this one under retire at 50 let's let's see let's just change all okay it, it changes one in here and that's okay and you can repeat so like say i don't like this brown i want to do this dark blue uh looks like that was the only one that was that brown color um, because it didn't give me the option to change it so let's change this guy maybe make it I don't know let's do pink <laughs> and basically that's what you're going to do and if you want to change the font you just click on the font and you can go to this menu bar again and pick a font that you like you know like maybe you might want this you may want to make it bigger um, you can also make it smaller like say this success one i don't want italics so just use this menu bar you know just kind of play around with it and change that around and then what i ended up doing was i ended up downloading this this image. So I clicked on share in the upper right corner and then clicked on download. And I, I kept it as a PNG. There are other options here. You can do a JPEG PNG. You can do P PDF if you want. Um, I mean, you could print, you know, pick PDF print and then use a printer and print it out. Um, so I'm, I'm keeping mine as a PNG and you're just going to click the download button. Now, because I'm on the desktop version of Canva, I get this other, this next option to, you know, save the file, which you're not going to have on the web version, the canva.com version. So what I did was I just downloaded it wherever I wanted, and then I set it as my desktop background. So here is the PNG file on the right side, and this is a Mac, and I ended up just right clicking on the file and clicked set desktop picture. If you have a Windows device, uh, it might be the same. I can't remember exactly, but here is my finished um, file. Let me actually open it up so we can see the top of it. Purpose. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a like. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. You can subscribe right below and uh, check out any of the other videos in my channel. I talk about uh, creating content, uh, using different apps to maximize creating your content, um, different income streams that I'm employing and how to get those set up and get started earning as a content creator. And that's all I have for you today. So thank you. Have a good day. Bye.